Bonneville family continues to expand with its 2018 Triumph Bonneville Speedmaster. The new Speedmaster builds on the Bobber and Bonneville lines to offer a versatile cruiser with a level of refinement and finish that has become synonymous with Triumph's recent model releases. Triumph continues to release additional models with its 1,200 cubic centimeters high torque parallel twin engine, and it's easy to see why. The SOHC, 8 valve engine with the 270 degree firing interval is an excellent beating heart to any of these new motorcycles. Triumph claims 77 HP at 6,100 RPM and 78 LBFT of torque at 4,000. This power and torque is spread on smooth with a near flawless ride by wire system which only seems to have slight abruptness at low RPM during on slash off throttle inputs. The 270 degree crank helps emit a low exhaust note that sounds even more appealing as the revs climb. Couple that charming engine with a smooth, positively actuating transmission, and you have a solid base for any kind of motorcycle you want to build around it. The torque assist clutch also allows for a light lever pull which was never found to be tiring when putting around town or while lane sharing. The 2018 Triumph Speedmaster shares suspension components with the original bobber, now tweaked for the potential of two up riding. The 41mm KYB cartridge style fork has been outfitted with stiffer dual rate springs, while the rear mono shock also includes a heavier spring and adjustable preload. Although we didn't have a chance to test the motorcycle with a passenger, I thoroughly enjoyed the stiffer fork, and the motorcycle seemed very well balanced throughout the ride. Bumps, abrupt changes in line selection, and freeway riding were all soaked up with ease and stability. With a 130 front and 150 rear tire, and a heavier overall weight when compared to the bobber black, it would be easy to think the Speedmaster's handling could be negatively affected. Fortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case. The Speedmaster feels amazingly light yet stable when being flicked back and forth considering its specs. Its sporting character is mostly limited by cornering clearance, which will leave you scraping pegs corner after corner. The dual 310mm front rotors slowed by Brembo twin piston calipers provide excellent stopping power. Hard braking is confidence inspiring with the well damped fork. Outback, the Speedmaster uses a 255mm single rotor and single pot Nissan caliper. ABS is standard and is unable to be disengaged. Styling is unmistakably triumph. Pricing starts at $13,150 for Jet Black, while Cranberry Red will cost an additional $250. All models come with 32 spoke wire wheels adding to the classic appeal. The model we tested retails at $13,650, with the Fusion White slash Phantom Black colorway adding $500 to MSRP. The white and black on the tank are separated by a hand-painted gold coach line which lends a premium quality to the Speedmaster. While the visual impression is classic British custom, the technology is modern, all while being cleverly tucked away and masked. Some of my complaints with bikes such as the new Kawasaki Z900Rs are that they are too much a mashup of futuristic styling and classic components. I prefer the mostly classic look with slight nuances of modern tech as seen on most of Triumph's modern classics range. All lighting on the Speedmaster is LED, including the daytime running light which lets you know this isn't a bike from the 60s. Other than that, you may be hard pressed to notice the modern accoutrements.